Ford Motor Company suffered operating losses amounting to $3.3 billion between 1980 and 1982. The market share of Xerox dropped from 93% in 1971 to 40% in 1981. The market share of Nokia had fallen from 50% in 2007 to 9% in 2016. Do you know why this happened to these companies? The answer is that the product and services of these companies fell short in their performance in the competitive market. How does one survive then? Attention to quality has been identified as a way to combat competition. In today's global market, competition is getting tougher and it is becoming more and more essential for the companies to provide consistent and better quality products and services to their customers. In order to provide such quality products and services that meets and exceeds customer expectations, a key management approach such as total quality management should be implemented by the organizations. TQM comprises three words, total, quality and management. Total stands for the involvement and input of everyone. Quality stands for fully meeting customers' needs and requirements all the time. And management stands for the way we act, operate, control and handle it. As per Union of Japanese Scientists and Engineers, JUSE, TQM is defined as TQM is a set of systematic activities carried out by the entire organization to effectively and efficiently achieve company objectives so as to provide products and services with a level of quality that satisfies customers at the appropriate time and price. Benefits of TQM are Higher customer satisfaction Reliable products or services Better efficiency of operations More productivity and profit Better morale of workforce Less wastage costs Less inspection costs improved process, and more market share. TQM vehicles, namely policy management, daily management, cross-functional management, and small group activities and suggestion management drive improvements in Tata Steel. Focused methodologies act as an enabler to TQM vehicles and help the company to achieve its business objectives. Appropriate TQM approaches were identified for different business strategies which were carefully articulated, communicated and administered across the organization. Review and assessment identifies the effectiveness of the systematic process-oriented business results. Standardization and education and training are the infrastructure strengthening strategies that provide foundation for documentation and capability building. The relationship between policy management, daily management, cross-functional management and SGA team can best be understood with the help of Dr. Kano's boat model. To succeed in a boat journey, every section of the boat including the bridge, the engine room and the navigator must play their defined role even without directions from the captain. This is daily management. Various sections of the boat must function as a team. In absence of communication between the different sections, journey in the desired direction at a consistent velocity cannot be ensured. This is cross-functional management. The captain should be a strong leader who can direct the crew when the boat needs to change direction or respond to environmental changes to speed up or slow down or change direction. This is policy management. All the members, especially the frontline people, should be highly motivated to do their jobs. This can be defined as SGA groups. In order to take the boat in the current ongoing direction, the method of daily management is required to maintain and sustain the present pace of movement or progress. However, 
in case there is a need to change the direction of the boat in order to achieve any long term strategic objectives the chief executive officer ceo needs to adopt the policy management method typically policy management activities are done for changing the business whereas daily management activities are done for running the business the concept of policy management and daily management can also be understood by the graph shown here executing all the maintenance and sustenance activities using the existing processes with some incremental improvements in the performance is called daily management or dm however if the management sets a higher level stretched performance target this level of performance may not be achievable with the existing processes or activities and therefore there will be a need to perform additional or modified activities to achieve this enhanced level of performance executing these additional or modified activities is called policy management the pdca plan to check act is an interactive four step management method used in business for control and continual improvement sdca standardize do check act cycle is used to maintain a process for giving sustained and planned outcomes and this cycle normally succeeds or precedes a pdca cycle of improvement actually sdca is a special form of pdca cycle where plan part is replaced by s standardization to emphasize the importance of dm normally any maintenance or sustenance process starts with the sdca cycle and as and when any abnormality or deviations occur these are defined analyzed resolved and standardized using a pdca cycle finally sdca cycle for maintenance is followed similarly any improvement process starts with pdca cycle and once the desired outcome has been achieved it is transferred to sdca cycle of maintenance to sustain the improved results in order to drive policy management tata steel follows four tiered integrated strategic planning and deployment process the process consists of two phases development and deployment while the development phase consists of setting the vision and the long term strategy the deployment phase consists of converting strategies into action plans through long term planning and annual business planning abp process key benefits from the same are enables executives to make choices on what organization will do and what it will not do pulls the entire organization together around a single game plan for execution draws broad outline on where resources will get allocated daily management was introduced in tata steel in the year 2006 since then a standardized process for implementing daily management concepts at various functions for example operations maintenance and services have been developed and implemented across the organization some customized processes such as adjusted process change management also have been developed and implemented regular assessment of daily management deployment by the internal assessors as well as external consultants and examiners has shown a clear sign of initial success bringing stability to many of the process parameters while the basic systems are in place the organization now need to move to the next level of daily management implementation by focusing on shop floor visualization sop based work culture for abnormality analysis and recurrence prevention activities cross functional management cfm is one of the tqm vehicle which focuses on achieving a common goal involving group of people with different functional or operational expertise typically it includes employees from all levels of an organization cfm is prevalent in quality assurance in areas such as value chain safety new product development etc in tata steel advantages of cfm are eliminates barrier between operating departments develops greater sense of involvement and identification 
improves quality and speed of decision making, increases enthusiasm for work, and improves morale. The small group activities are carried out by SGA circles involving shop floor employees. The primary purpose of SGA is to engage employees in improvement activities and thereby create a vibrant workplace and to improve the problem-solving skills of employees. There are two categories of SGA circles in Tata Steel, namely TPM circles and quality circles. As far as the guidelines of administration of SGA is concerned, both are treated as same. Quality circles, a small group of frontline employees who continually control and improve the quality of their work, products and services. TPM circles, Jishu Hosen JH circles, a small group of frontline employees who continually work to keep their own equipment in good condition by themselves. Mass Plus Mass Plus is a unique copyright process of Tata Steel which converts individual knowledge into organizational knowledge. It is an initiative to involve the shop floor employees to generate new ideas and identify and implement available best practices thereby converting knowledge into action. There are four basic objectives of Mass Plus. Horizontal deployment of available knowledge. Identify best practices and generate new ideas within the department. Tap experience of employees at shop floor and create change agents at shop floor. Suggestion management. Tata Steel was one of the first companies in India to launch the suggestion management scheme way back in 1945 under the name of Suggestion Box Scheme. The primary objective of this scheme was to provide an avenue to the lowest grassroots employees of the company to participate in the affairs of the company by giving their innovative and creative ideas and getting them implemented to achieve the goals set by the company. Through this scheme, the benefits occurred to the company due to the implementation of suggestions given by employees is also shared with the concerned employee to motivate them to give more and more suggestions which will further benefit the company. The continuous improvement framework has been at the core of every process in Tata Steel. Business analytics gives a competitive edge to an organization. With a focused approach to this, organizations gain agility to operate in an ever-changing environment and develop better understanding to optimize performance. Based on the difficulty level and the type of problem, improvement projects are identified and categorized into GBs, TOC, Shikhar 25 or SIP. While the day-to-day -day abnormalities being identified in shop floor can be dealt with Kaizen and mass initiatives, problems having more complexity require Six Sigma and other approaches such as TOC, Shikhar as applicable. Review and assessment is one of the vertical of TQM framework. The Tata Business Excellence Model, TBEM, is the basis for conducting organizational assessments and for giving feedback to applicants. The TBEM criteria are built on the following set of interrelated 11 core values. Visionary leadership, customer-driven excellence, organizational and personal learning, Valuing workforce members and partners, management by fact, managing for innovation, agility, focus on the future, societal responsibility, focus on results and creating value, and systems perspective. These values and concepts are embedded beliefs and behaviors found in high-performing organizations. They are the foundation for integrating key performance and operational requirements within a result-oriented framework that creates a basis for action and feedback. The core values and concepts are embodied in seven categories 
as follows leadership strategic planning customer focus measurement analysis and knowledge management workforce focus operations focus and business results there is one more criteria on safety as well which is non scoring category 1 to 6 is known as process categories and carries 550 marks and category 7 is the result category having 450 marks tbem assessment is of 1000 marks the company which gets into 875 plus score band demonstrates world class leader qualities in its process and performance tata steel's journey of improvement transpired from a mere formal initiative that was taken during the decades of the 90s to an integrated continual process and finally building improvement as a culture across the whole organization various philosophies and methodologies adopted during the years are laid out in the picture with the current focus on cost drivers and efficiency drivers the company is trying to constantly mitigate the rising input prices by more efficient use of resources and higher productivity shikhar 25 and innovent processes are the newest addition to the decades old improvement journey thereby during this journey of improvement tata steel has received many awards which have given a sense of accomplishment to its employees and boosted their confidence to move ahead tata steel was the first company in the tata group to cross 700 marks band in 2004 in tbem journey with tqm deployment the company won the dap and dgp awards in 2008 and in 2012 respectively tata steel has also won prime minister's trophy for best integrated steel plant in india 10 times the two decades of improvement journey has imbibed a firm belief of continual improvement and set the bars high the level needs to be raised further